What's up everybody, David here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a low-tuned MIDI bass guitar using Presence, which is the included instrument inside of Studio One. Now before we get into this, I want to clarify what exactly I'm talking about, and uh, I guess I'll tell you why I, I did this. So I'm recording a brand new song, a demo right now, and the guitars are tuned to drop G, but I don't have a bass that can record in drop G. I also don't own any bass sample libraries, so I needed some kind of bass guitar to put in the mix for the meantime while I'm demoing out this song. I decided to poke around Studio One a little bit and see if I could get something using the included effects and instruments that already come with the program. And turns out using Presence, I was able to get a drop G bass guitar that sounds pretty good in my opinion. So that's why I did that. That's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So let's get started. All right, so the example we're going to be working with today is a demo of a brand new song that I'm currently working on. As I said earlier, the guitars are tuned to drop G and nothing is mixed here, it's just a demo. So here's a clip of the song without the bass guitar. As you guys can hear, it is definitely lacking in the low end department, so let's get started. So I already have the instrument track set up and ready to go. The MIDI is already programmed. Everything is programmed at 100 just because I don't really care because it's just a demo, so I'm not going for ultra realism here. First thing we need to do here is set up our instrument. So we're going to be using Presence today. I'm going to open the browser, drag Presence onto the instrument track, and we are ready to go. From here, we're just going to be using a preset. So under the presets, bass, contemporary bass, bass picked, we're going to be using the bass pick full preset. First thing to do when you open this preset is shut off the reverb because we definitely don't need that in a metal bass guitar. So let's see how our bass sounds. So it sounds like a bass guitar, which is cool, but it also sounds insanely robotic. Like I said, I'm not going for full realism here, but that's gonna stick out like a sore thumb in the mix. So what we're gonna do is adjust the attack threshold just to soften up the attack of each note. Here's a before and after of that attack setting. So it's not a massive difference, but it's definitely gonna help disguise the fact that this is not a real bass, especially once we put it in the mix. Speaking of mix, let's check out this bass in the mix. So above it being too loud, you're probably noticing that the bass isn't low enough, it's in the wrong octave. And that's because I cannot go low enough within the presence program because the octave I need is actually being used up by the key switches, which is what decides what kind of note the bass is playing, whether it's a muted, harmonic, or just an open picked note. I tried to transpose it with this transpose knob right here, but this is a result you get if you try to do that. So yeah, that's not gonna work. What we're actually gonna end up doing is transforming this to an audio track and then pitching it down using the event effects. To transform it to an audio track, we're just gonna right click on the track and hit transform to audio track. Now when you do this, make sure to preserve the instrument state so that you can always go back to MIDI if you need to make note changes later on. I'll go ahead and speed this up. So now the track has been transformed to audio and you can see it as an audio waveform. Then you can also see the MIDI notes showing that this is also an instrument track. So if you ever need to go back to change the MIDI notes, just right click and transform to instrument track. Now let's go ahead and pitch it down. So clicking on the track will open the event effects down here. We're gonna find transpose and change this value to negative 12. That means we are going to pitch it down 12 steps, which is a whole octave. Once we change that value and press play, this is what the bass sounds like. Now that we have the bass shifted down and it somewhat sounds like a normal bass, you can process it like any other bass guitar. So I have a preset bass tone here with the SHB head, cabinet impulse, a little bit of EQ, and some multiband compression. Let's see how it sounds. Now let's see how it sounds in the mix. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit just because I know what it should be at, and here we go. That 
that sits in the mix really nice and I think it sounds pretty damn good. And that's it guys, this is actually really easy to do and I think it sounds pretty good. Now keep in mind as well guys, this is not limited to drop G, you can do this with any tuning so just program your stuff as low as you can and then pitch shift it accordingly. Now some of you guys might be thinking why don't you just go get a bass sample library, there's a bunch of them that can already go down to drop G with no extra anything. Uh, and I have a couple reasons for that. First one is most of these libraries require contact and I don't have contact and I don't want to buy contact because, well, $400. I'll get it eventually when it's on sale, but point is I don't have it right now. So I can't even use most of these libraries, especially the cheap ones that are like maybe 40, 50 bucks. Second reason is as of now, a MIDI bass library is not something I want to spend my money on. I do not intend on using mini bass in the final version, so that's really not something I want to spend money on. I'd rather put that money towards something a little more useful for me. Those are the two reasons that drove me to try and find something within Studio One without spending any extra money. But like I said, I think this sounds pretty good and it serves my purpose perfectly. So just keep in mind too, if you guys want to get more realism out of this, if you want to go more in depth, you could definitely mess with the MIDI velocity and get a more believable performance. Um, that's just not something I really care to do because it's just a placeholder for me. But keep in mind, you guys can definitely go more in depth and get this to sound even better than I did today. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this, if it helped you, if it saved you money. Cool, if it didn't save you money. Uh, not cool, but just let me know what you think down in the comments. Before I go guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's new videos every single week and you don't want to miss any content. Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is David and I'll see you next time.